what's going on, my little shit weasels? So this is going to be a relatively quick video, hopefully kind of explaining some simple uh, concepts of the, the indicator that I made. Um, wait. Go live, bitch. That inspector is doing a shit job and should probably fuck off. Don't let me highlight it for your dumb ass. Dave. Okay, that's a confirmed shill. Not because of his brash wording, but because he said Dave is better. Bye, bitch. Okay. So I got four charts up here. I'm going to reduce it to one in a second. But just so you kind of can get an understanding of what I'm looking at as I'm tweeting throughout the day. Um, I've got AMC and GameStop on the left and right, respectively. And then right below each of them is the one second chart. So I can see on a more micro time frame as to what is going on. Um, I use the one second uh, in mix because as as the day progresses, you will see market makers or institutions switch up how they're actually handling order flow, um, who's jumping in, who's not. Uh, you'll see patterns begin to break uh, as they uh, transition into another phase. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Um, we're gonna go to Amy real quick. Okay. Uh, so this is the one minute chart. Um, I've got two different instances of this running. I'm going to change that to one and we're going to switch to the five minute. Okay. So what you're seeing here, uh, as, as simply as possible is you have two, two regions. One is green, one is red. And the green region is where you would find what is known as a spring, uh, in Wyckoff terminology, uh, which is your lowest low. Uh, which will result in you going up, and then you'll approach your SOS phase, which is a sign of strength. Uh, here's the schematic that I'm referencing. Um, yeah, so so this is your accumulation schematic. This is the, the pattern for what accumulation looks like. Um, I'm not going to go fully in depth as to what this means, but essentially when I, when I reference a spring region, it's talking about this right here. Um, your SOS is your sign of strength. And then going into phase E is when you, you either begin distribution or you form a higher accumulation. I'm fucking stuttering for some reason. It's probably because I just woke up. Um, and then we have what's known as the distribution phase, which is right here. Um, so it's, it's the same thing as an accumulation, but literally just flipped upside down. Um, so where you would find your, your spring, you have an LPSY or a UTAD. Uh, and then where you would have your sign of strength, you have a sign of weakness, and then so on and so forth. You get the idea. Um, so that's what this is basically uh, monitoring for. Anytime that there is a, a highlighted green section or a highlighted red section, that indicates either a spring is confirmed or a UTAD is confirmed, uh, in which case you would expect a reversal. Um, the simplest way possible, that's what this means, right? Now there's different configurations that you can use to, uh, interact with the chart and kind of create your own context. So all jokes aside with Dave, I was talking to him about this and the way that he, the way that he described it was it's a context giver, because if you look at, you know, macro timeframes, you can clearly see when things are in distribution or accumulation. Uh, for example, like we were getting deflected off of uh, 52 and 43 and the low 30s. Um, that's when you saw the accumulation begin. But because we were getting deflected off of the distribution zone, uh, it kind of gives a lot more uh, background as to what is happening within the, the macro time frame of things. Um, if you look at like Bitcoin, that's where things are even crazier. Uh, go to the, the weekly chart and everything is just fucking easy mode. Um, yeah, like you can see that we're writing the distribution and again, each candle is one week worth of time. So we're writing in distribution. We, we break through it, fall through it, get rejected off of it and then <laughs> fall, fall just short of the spring. And then it, it's Tesla's even crazier. Same thing. So it defines your ranges really, really well. And when you start to get the feel or the rhythm for a particular stock or crypto, <coughs> it makes things just 
a lot fucking easier to figure out where you're going. Um, now, the beauty of this is that... I'll go back to AMC real quick. The beauty, beauty of this is that when you start to combine multiple time frames at once, right, it kind of looks like, you know, Picasso just splooging all over one of his canvases, but you can start to see how, how, not how Wyckoff is working, but you can figure out how whatever direction is trying to be pushed, uh, you, you can build that context. You can build a better assertion of when things are going to go up or down because all you have to do is just reference multiple time frames. So all throughout, uh, let's see, this was the 24th till going into the 25th. So today, like you can see, I think this was actually after hours. You can see though that we had like these gaps in distribution and gaps in accumulation. But throughout these gaps, all that was happening was they were market makers and institutions were jumping between different ranges. So the reason why you see stocks trade the way they do is they go up, they come down, they go up again, might come back down, might go back up, who knows. But in between, in between this entire fucking, hold on. <laughs> Throughout this entire process, the thing that is happening is market makers define a range, they bring people in, and then they're going to trade this range and literally just make money passing back and forth between each of these ranges. And then once once a range runs out of liquidity because they've already churned all the levels, they're going to either send it up. Uh, you fucking retard. They're either going to send it up and discover a new range and rinse and repeat. Or they're going to send it down. Fucking idiot. Can't fucking draw up or down. Uh, send it down and then do the same. Uh, and that direction is dependent on whatever the, the macro is, which is relative in itself. So because we have been going down for so long and you can see exactly how volume has been passed back and forth, um, the accumulation, uh, or the spring regions rather have compressed. And because of that compression, that means that there's no more room to, to throw, um, Jesus, you fucking idiot. Wake the fuck up. Because it's gone down so much, um, there's no more room within a spring region for there to be any profit made by, by order flow or by news or whatever it is. There's so many spokes to how literally just passing volume between different levels of a chart uh, makes money. Uh, here we go. Yeah. So like if you pull up what's called a, a market profile or a, a volume profile, you can literally fucking see exactly how this works here's each of your ranges and the breakouts happen when there's no more room um let me uh let me clean this up real quick so so each of these each of these uh instances of the the market profile shows you where volume has been how much volume has been passed at each level um throughout all of this you have options going on you have over-the-counter futures you have over-the-counter derivatives you have payment for order flow. You have pretty much anything and everything to monetize stuff just going back and forth. That's just how the market works. And most people, the 99%, just make money on it going up or down. But depending on what title you have, you might make money doing other things. That's all I'll say before I go fucking Alex Jones on this shit. So that's what this is monitoring for. And once uh, a certain range has been exhausted, if that range... Uh, if that range is macro suggests it going up, it will probably go up. If that macro uh, suggests it going down, it will probably go down. And then you'll rinse and repeat until you hit another macro uh, support or resistance, in which case there's no more levels to run liquidity through. Okay, that was a that was more than I meant to fucking go on about. So let's uh, let's skip to using multiple instances of this at once. Um, this is very reminiscent of. Uh, Jimbo, Jim, not Jimbo, Jim, Uncle Jimbo, uh, Bam. Um, he and I have talked a lot over the past year, and he's he's given me so much wisdom and insight. And this is one of those where, when you're monitoring for multiple time frames, there are residual waves of price action that come through. Um, this is because of typically the way that he's deduced it, and the way that I've deduced it is there's fuckery afoot. He calls it the pay me later level. Uh, I call it the fuck you. Um, I don't know what to call it. 
Uh, but it does exist, and you can clearly see that when we look at, for example, this region right here. This thing is so fucking laggy, I need to fix it. Um, right here, you saw all of the, the springs just compress into each other, and you saw the, the, the gap between distribution and accumulation begin to literally squeeze. And because our macro has run out of room to the downside, it then inevitably is pushed up. And that's what we've seen here. Um, now, if we go back in time a little bit, you can see that we still had room to the downside uh, back in February. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a, a more gleaming example. Bro, I just bought a fucking 3090. Give me a fucking break. <sighs> Okay. Um, yeah. So, so you can see that we're getting shoved down, right? And we just looked at the daily and on the daily, you could see that back during this time, we had more room to the downside, but these distribution levels slam down on each other. And then there's room that opens up to the downside. And of course it gets shoved down. Um, but now going into the present, you can see exactly how our spring regions lined up. And you can see exactly how the distribution began to go up because price was inevitably rising. Um, basically, it's it's just a way that you can monitor um, direction, uh, and it also you know when you when you find a sweet spot for for a particular stock uh, or an index or a crypto, uh, you'll get the feel for just how the rhythm of that stock is, and because of that, you'll be able to play it much better. But there are certain sweet spots to to each stock or each security. <clears throat> um, you know, right here being on the 30 minute, uh, with the scanning length set to two, uh, you can clearly see, you know, by here, by here, by here, by here, uh, you could have caught this, you could have caught this, uh, by here, by here, by here, by here. Um, and now we have currently, as I'm recording this March 25th at 2:34. uh, you can see that we're actually approaching another region. This one's going up, this one's going down, they're converging, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's probably going to pop either going into power hour or, uh, Monday. So either way, I'm fucking jacked. Um, I'm going to make another video talking about, uh, what should I call it? What I think is going to happen next week, but just as a little teaser, this is looking really good. We got the daily bounce, bounce, uh, bounce here, bounce here, bounce here. Uh, but now we've pretty clearly defined, oh, we got a bounce here and a here and a here. Yeah. So, you know, there's your fucking squeezes all throughout history. Um, Jimbo. Uh, bounce here, bounce here, bounce here, here, here. Uh, yeah, this fell. This was in distribution, though. Bounce here, bounce here. Uh, distribu uh, no, that was a wing of accumulation. Bounce here. Um, and we've clearly defined multiple springs. Could go to the weekly. Yeah. I'm jacked. I'm jacked. I'm jacked. I'm fucking jacked, baby. I'm fucking loading up on more calls after this. Whew. All right. Yeah. So uh, that's the that's the nickel tour. Um, spy, by the way, this is like trading spy on this is like that simple. Um, it, it's, it's incredibly fucking stupid how good this is. Um, yeah, it looks like nine is the sweet spot ish on the five minute. Uh, yeah, it's just, it, 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 it just, it, it just fucking knows. It just knows. It knows. Um, as far as like the the bread and butter to this and how it works, I'm going to be making some videos that uh, I can't go into full detail at least yet, um, but I will be making some videos that explain my findings of of how these algorithms are at play. And if anyone is out there that is trying to pursue the same, then hopefully you know my little brain droppings. Uh, can help or at least inspire you to, to have a different approach or to just think of it differently. But it's, it's pretty clear that, you know, we're, we're fucking onto this. It's been over a year, a year and a half in making. Uh, and we, we got something, baby. We fucking got something. All right. I'm back to being a degenerate and playing zero days.